Well, Great Western Malting has been around since 1934. It's serving brewers in the area just after Prohibition. It's primarily served both large brewers and craft brewers for uh, a little over 80 years, primarily providing both barley and wheat malt as well as roasted products. We've supported the craft industry primarily in, in Oregon and the West Coast. 75 to 80 percent of the beer uh, drank in the area is, is uh, using our malt. So in a visual sense, I enjoy seeing the barley go through a maturation phase where it'll change colors. You'll see a bright hue or, or yellow when it's in germination. When you see it come out of the roast house, you'll see a lot darker, more like a uh, chocolate or a brown. And you'll, you'll smell uh, a roasted flavor. One of the unique features about this plant and our, our business is that with the wide variety of, of malts that we produce, roughly 35, we're always looking for innovative ways to help the customer create new beers, new flavors. I think that we're the closest brewery to Great Western Malt on the planet. We use Great Western almost exclusively because of loyalty, because of quality, and proximity. It's all three. Buying local is one thing, but buying local with a family connection is its a no-brainer for me. My family moved out west from Kansas to build ships in the Kaiser Shipyard. My grandfather got a job at Great Western Malting, and that was his last job he ever had. He retired from there. It was the only job my father ever had. One day I was hanging out with some beer friends and I thought, well, that, that would be kind of cool. What if I opened a brewery? And then it just cascaded. I just started learning more about what it takes to do that. And it was a two-year conversation before we opened our doors. There, there definitely is an art to making beer. I mean, with basically four ingredients, with water and malted barley and hops and yeast, you come up with this amazing variety. You know, there's a, almost a thousand registered beer types on the planet. How we get those with four ingredients is pretty amazing, and that is the craft. When you add the ingredients, at what temperatures you do things, it's all, that's where the art comes in, is how you put those ingredients together, and when you do that, and how long you let them sit, or what temperatures you let them sit, it really affects the beer drastically. If you ferment a, a product at 68 degrees versus 72 degrees, you're gonna end up with a different product.